Salut tout le monde, j'espère que vous allez très bien. Bienvenue sur ma chaîne, je m'appelle Tracy. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification button so that you know when I upload my videos. If you are the regular subscriber, thank you so much. Bisous bisous. So today I decided to do a video which no one has requested me to do. I usually don't like talking about these things because it's a, like, a bit personal but you never know who might need this kind of information. If you live in Abidjan long enough or you mingle with people, you will hear about this phrase, Abidjan et petit. And I'm going to explain this at some point during the video, so stay tuned. My dating experience in Abidjan. Language barrier is the main reason as to why I joined Tinder. When I came here, like I said, I didn't speak French. So it was a bit difficult talking to guys here. I remember I used to use Google Translate while texting and it was really hectic and frustrating just translating all the time like small things, small phrases. There was a lot of miscommunication and even if it was someone that spoke a bit of English, sometimes they would have to translate some of the things they're saying and it was totally wrong, totally meaningless or it meant something totally different. I remember the first time somebody used the word shushu and I had to go and translate and it came out as like shoe, cabbage. I was like, okay, this is so weird but after some time i came to learn that you know like how in english you use the word like cupcake that's the same thing in french also i'm not a really patient person so i used to get like super annoyed and sometimes i'll just stop texting by the way i didn't know at that time that tinder had turned into a hookup site i had heard about it but I had never used it. I just wanted to talk to people that spoke English or spoke better English. And the ones that I found there were just people who were in Abidjan for like business trips, you know, maybe three, four days. In terms of having like a really serious relationship, it was never going to happen. These people are here for a short time and they're going to leave. Some of them are businessmen, obviously you don't know if they're married, they're in relationships, they're just moving from city to city and some of these people, they come and they just want to hook up with someone and go. So very tricky situation. I felt like I was stooping too low, like this isn't me and so I think twice I deleted the app. Um, but then the third time I finally just deleted it because I couldn't take it anymore. The Ivorian guys that I was talking to on Tinder, it felt like I'm the one who had to like push them or to initiate conversation and it got tiresome. I felt like they didn't really make an effort and that time my French was so bad so I felt like maybe I was also making them feel frustrated. So that was it from Tinder. I stopped using it and then I was just like you know living my life other than language barrier another thing i can say that i found challenging was religion so in abidjan or if i can say ivory coast Cote d'Ivoire, forgive me it's like islam and christianity have split i don't know 50 50 but it's usually a bit difficult here to identify like really who's muslim and the girls i used to talk to they would ask um tu es chrétien ou musulman I was like okay this why are they asking but then it's a thing here because you can't here you can't just look at someone and tell maybe from their name you can tell it got to a point where i also started asking people are you christian or muslim because i was not going to waste time with the muslim guy i have nothing against the religion it's just i know their parents are super strict and yeah i'm gonna waste my time I started getting to know more people and I realized that people here really know each other like you have to be careful who you're dating otherwise you can even end up dating like brothers it can be weird when you went on a date last month with this person only to realize that he's a friend of this guy you're going out with now or a cousin there aren't that many females my age in the entire country that are called Tracy that are also Kenyan. I had to be very careful not to go on like different dates because I didn't want it to get to a point where they'd be like, oh yeah, I'm going out with this Kenyan girl I met. She's called Tracy and be like, wait, 
Tracy, I know her. I went on a date with her, I don't know, two months ago. I don't know, maybe I was being paranoid, but I just didn't want that to happen. If you've been in Abidjan for long and you've dated, I don't know if you found someone you're trying to date, please share your experience in the comment section below. I would really love to hear from different people and their experience. Even if, let's say, you lived abroad for a while as a neighbor and then you came back, how is dating? For you here in Abidjan how do you find the women how do you find the men I know that generally speaking and don't come at me in the comment section below it's stereotype they say that I wear women you need to have money in order for you to be able to attrape une femme Ivoirien. that's what I've been told as for the men I've always been told you have to be careful about Ivorian men that you know they really like dating multiple women and I know it happens in different countries but it's like they are known for this like having a wife and a mistress also don't come at me please that's it from this video I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video